Okay, y'all, I want to come down here for a minute. Come and sit down and talk to y'all outside really quickly. Because it's 1029. So, I'm just going to sit right here and talk to y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm going to just get straight into it. Why is it, or sometimes can it be like two or three people in the house and with the housework, when the housework is concerned, only one person has to do every fucking thing in the house. And then, to get the other person to do something, you gotta, like, beg them to, like, say for instance, beg them to wash the dishes. Beg them to take the trash out. Or tell them, okay, if you gotta bribe them. If you wash the dishes, I'll fix you something to eat. Or, if you wash the dishes, I'll take the trash out. They, they, and then when they do that, they complain about that. Or, then, or you got to beg them, when they go to the grocery store, you got to beg them to put the food up because you're driving to the grocery store. You're putting the food in the car by yourself now. Remember, all this is done by yourself. Besides them spending their money to get their own food. You got to put the, car, the uh, food in the car. You got to take the food out the car when you get to the house and put the food up. And then with me, my situation... I gotta take my car back to my grandma house because I can't park my car in this fucking parking lot. Not with these rich ass people in the office. They don't want no black people on their shit. They're bad enough. They can't just project it and come straight out with their racistness and tell you, oh, you can't live here because that's against a lot of the to discriminate in an apartment complex. It should be against a lot to discriminate against anything anywhere to deny somebody a place to live because of their skin color. But anyways, back on topic. I know my hair look a mess. I don't care because I'm going to go back in the house anyway. Um, in my case, like I was saying, in my case, I got to park my car in my grandma's house. So, you got to beg them to at least put the food up so by the time you get back, you don't have to. After you done put the food in the car at the grocery store, came home, put the food up. It took the food in the house. Then go, drop the car off, come back, and then have to put the food up. Like, up in the icebox and the cabinets and stuff where it's supposed to go. After you take it out the bags and stuff. Yeah, that's just fucked up. Like, that is just really... Like, do you know? And then you gotta come back and then you gotta clean up. You gotta cook. After you done put the food up, you gotta cook. You gotta clean. You gotta take your bath. You gotta uh, feed people, other people. Then you gotta eat yourself. That's six things. on Y'all can't see my thumb, but that's six things. And then, because I'm holding the phone with it. Then, you got to take the trash out. That's seven. Then, you got to make sure that's comfortable. That's eight. Then, you got to wash. That's nine. That's too fucking much shit for one person to be doing by themselves and running the whole household. But then, back in the day, I'm doing all this shit. But when I want company... I can't have no company come over. I gotta go outside. So basically, it's like you run the whole house yourself, doing everything in the house by yourself, but you can't have no company coming over. You gotta go outside with your company. Or then that back in the day wasn't even that long ago. That was like in my what? Early 20s? Late teens? Mid teens to early 20s? Super early 20s? You can't have no company come over. But I'm like, okay, if I'm running this whole house myself, by myself, it's like I'm the only person. I stay here by myself anyway. So, I might as well should do one thing that if I'm running the house by myself, I should just at least be like, okay, well, let me, I should be able to have whoever I want over. Nowadays, I don't care. I don't really too much want a lot of people over anyway. I don't want to be around a lot of people. Hi. But yeah, like, I don't, nowadays, I don't want nobody over. I don't want to be around people. I don't want nobody talking to me. I don't want nobody. Like, I don't want none of that. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. But, I 
That's it. I mean, it's like when you living with somebody, it should be a call. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I'm trying to calm myself down and be aware of my surroundings. But when you living with somebody or somebody living with you, it should be two people coming together to make sure the house is running stable. It's running the way both of y'all want. One person can't run the whole house, do everything in the whole damn house. And then the other person just pulling the puppet strings or trying to tell them how they want this done, how they want that done, and shit. I'm like, okay, you doing all this, but you're not helping with nothing. Yeah, you pay the you pay the bills and stuff like that. You pay your bills, but you adding most stuff on top of me that I'm already stressed out about. I'm already got my personal problems going on, and then on top of that, I'm financially strapped. And that's just being honest with you. I'm financially stretched out for cash. But yet and still you expect for me to like every time I have money on the days you don't have money. My money is like a whole lot of money. Now y'all, ready right now, and this is just being open and honest with y'all. The job I do have is not making very much money at all. But granted it is making some kind of money. At least I'm able to pay some kind of bills. But at the end of the day, all I have is I'm lucky if I have 130 to myself or I'm able to buy myself something. I have to sacrifice doing for me to make sure other people are happy. Now, okay, I'm going to tell y'all. I, at the most I have left, I had a $300 is what? Maybe between like 20 and like $90 left. And that's after paying bills. I have 300 and something dollars. And then on top of that. I have to save. Because I like me personally. I like having. Just having some money. Just in case if anything do happen. God forbid and knock on wood. Knock on wood. If anything happen. And I hope it don't. Like That's why I say God forbid and I knock on wood. That nothing do happen. I have some spare money just in case. I have some money just in case I run out of gas or something. I'm somewhere and I run out of gas or I have to catch the bus. I could walk to a bank and get something or I can get something to eat if I'm out or if I'm not feeling good and just say, God forbid if I have to go to the hospital. I have some money to get to call the cab to get home. Well, if I'm somewhere with somebody and we get into it and they put me out their car, at least I have, a cab, or I have some money to call the cab to get home. I probably won't have no cash on me, but hey, at least I'll be able to call a cab or something. But hey, people don't think like that. Now, you got somebody that, that's like me. The little job, part-time job I do have, because it's like a full-time job with part-time pay. But, it's like, okay, my $300 versus a $700. Now, yeah, you got to take... 500 and some dollars of rent out of that. You pay the rent. Because right now, like I say, I can't afford all that. $580 out of $300. How the hell am I supposed to get that? And then the way I can get that is if I save two paychecks. And then when I do two paychecks, I still have 100 left. If you want to do it like that. And then by the time you do that, the rent going to double. It's already going to be $1,000 by the time you get to your second paycheck because you didn't pay the first month and you want to pay both you still I'm still going to be overshooting the whole barrel shit so out of 700 you take 580 that should leave you with like maybe between somewhere between 100 and 200 that depends on the change and all this extra that you had to start with add it on to the two 700 and then you take out the light bill which ain't that much because you pay the bills but still what about running the household what about, okay, think about the married couples. Both of them have incomes. Both of them together, coming together, living together, working together, helping each other out to keep the household flowing, to keep the house running, to keep everything running smooth, to keep their ship on point and above water and floating evenly on the water. Now, you ain't got one person in the household doing all the work and taking care of the whole house while they're just sitting on their ass not doing nothing or paying the phone bill. You don't have it. It's not to the point where you got one person 
just chilling and the other person taking care of everything. You ain't, it's not to the point where, oh, well, I could sit back and relax and just let this motherfucker do everything. No. To me, if two people, you could be mother, daughter, sis, two sisters, sister and brother, two brothers, aunt, uncle, grandmother, grandchild, um, niece, nephew, two cousins, whatever. You could be whatever. Living together. Husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. If it's two people living in the house yeah, and both of y'all got an income, both of y'all should be... Both of y'all should come together or be trying to come together to make the household run smoothly. Smoothly. One person, y'all go half on everything. Y'all could do that. Or y'all could do it like one person pays the bills while the other pays. If y'all live in the house, the other pays the mortgage. Or rent if y'all live in an apartment. Or if you rent the house, one person pay the rent, one person pay the bills. Or y'all just half in everything. Or y'all can do something. Something though. Come up with something together. Sit down talk to each other come up with something that will make it smoother well one person ain't doing all the work or one person ain't being so stressed out and overbearing or being so stressed out and overloaded with everything but yeah it's getting hot i'm gonna go back in this house i'm gonna have to see y'all later but yeah it's just it just don't make no sense like one person taking care of the house and then you got the other just sitting there not doing anything basically physically anything Nah, I don't mean not doing anything as far as not helping pay the bills and stuff. I mean, around the house. You're not helping take care of the house. You're just sitting there, not doing anything. I mean, you live here too. You think you want to help out some kind of way instead of complaining. But yeah, it's people out there that understand what I'm talking about. It's people that don't understand. But I mean, if you understand, you understand. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to brush my hair and shut up. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.